Hey there, this is Eric with Princeton Supply. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Dust Black & Decker Dust Buster. This is the newly reinvented design of the original model. Uh, it's actually model BDH9600CHV. It's a 9.6 volt cordless handheld vacuum. Uh, again, it's the Dust Buster, but that's what everyone calls a handheld vacuum, like you call your uh, cotton swabs Q-tips, you call your facial tissues Kleenex. Everyone says, hey, get me that dust buster. It's actually a handheld cordless vacuum, but that's how popular this vacuum is. It's been around for many, many years and everyone calls it the dust buster. That's why it's so popular. So this is going to be a really quick video. As you can tell, it's already out of the box. There isn't really much to discuss. It comes out of the box ready to go. Uh, here is the here's the vacuum. Comes with a charging base, which can also be mounted on a wall. So that's a really neat feature there. Uh, you don't want to leave this line on the ground somewhere. A kid steps on it, goes over the cord, things like that. So you can actually put it on your kitchen counter up on the wall. Keep it right next to the outlet. That's really cool. Uh, also, it's going to come with two tools. You're going to find them together, so don't think that you're missing one. But one is a crevice tool, another one is a brush. Where do, where do they store those? This, you know what, it is, that is an excellent question, and I don't think it's stored anywhere, to be honest. You have to just keep them in your pocket. Keep them in your pocket, or... Uh, you got to be somewhere <laughs> where they put now. No, not at all, yeah, because this goes on the, the charging base here, huh. so it's just going to stay on the wall, and turn that around so I don't drop it. And then, yeah, you have these two loose tools here, so, so there's... Just, do you insult insult them. Don't insult <laughs> I'm not going to insult, insult them. them in the, in the, um, nozzle, right. Then... Yes. We're going to get to that. All right. Okay. All right. Sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. But uh, let's go Maybe with that. they just stay in there. They, they could if you wanted to. So you have your opening right here and it just whoops, inserts in. Uh, no clicking or anything. Just slides right in. As you can tell there. And yeah, that's it. So um, again, if you're going to use this or store it in your kitchen somewhere. Maybe put these in a drawer nearby so you don't lose them. So. That doesn't seem like it's in all the uh, Let's see here. There we go. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I don't think I would use it. It doesn't seem. But I guess if you're um, doing upholstery, maybe that might right. come in handy. And for the crevice tool, since the way this design is, um, it's it may be hard to get into some tight places. So by having this, it just gives you a little bit more uh, reach, extension into tighter spots, as you can tell. It's a little more narrow opening. Um, this also might actually increase the suction power too. So, um, yeah, so make sure you don't lose these, store them somewhere safe, uh, but they do go together like that. And of course, you're gonna get your, your screws and so forth to mount onto the wall. Uh, so let's quickly open this up, show you how it works here. This is the power button right here. Push that up to turn on. Push this open to open up your uh, your canister here. It comes with a filter, which can be removed. Take that off. So clean this. Uh, this is disposable. So you might want to pick up a few extras of these. And that's it. So it's really simple. There isn't anything else to it. Um, there we go. So yeah, there you go. It's your. Black & Decker Dust Buster, it's 9.6 volt handheld cordless vacuum. It's currently priced at $21.94 on Amazon. I mean, that's pretty cheap in my opinion, so that's not yeah, too it's bad. Pretty, it's pretty cool looking. Yeah. I, like the, um, I like the fluorescent green, that's nice. It's really neat. Uh, it has a, it's, it's, it's not lightweight. I mean, it has a good solid feel to it. So. Um, but yeah, this. Did you this... watch Pineapple Express? Have you seen that movie? I have seen. Did you see the, the beating when they beat up? Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's his name? Um... I've been so long since I've yeah, seen that movie. Yeah, Dustbuster. That was like when Seth Seth Rogen beat up. Um, oh, what's his name? With Dustbuster. That was hilarious. Oh there yes, you yes. There you go. You can you can use it as self defense. Yeah, self defense. It's not it's very good. effective, but it's. No, hilarious. you could throw it. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out actually how durable it is during our uh, punishment test. But yeah, it's actually currently priced at number two on Amazon.com. It's a hot selling item. If you want to find out more information about this, feel free to click on the link below, taken to our Amazon product page. 
Uh, we're going to quickly go to our performance. We're going to back. Oh, McBri Danny McBride. Danny McBride, yeah. that's it. <laughs> All right, dude. See, I'm, I'm 52 years old. It takes me about 15 seconds to think a name, so. A little DA delayed reaction yeah. there. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> So we're going to go into our performance test. We're going to vacuum up the various stuff again on carpet and a hard surface. We're also going to do our punishment test too to see how durable this vacuum is. And then we'll give you our final review on the vacuum. So uh, stay tuned. Here we go. Thank you. So here we are for our performance test. We're going to briefly talk about a few other features with the, the vacuum. Uh, we're first going to do our decibel test just because uh, I can't imagine it's going to be too loud, but everyone does like to know. So Yeah, we paid $20 for that. For that meter. Might as well so put it to use. We gotta get our money's worth <laughs> out of it. Alright, here we go. So, uh, 91.1. That's pretty loud. It doesn't sound loud. No, it doesn't sound loud. Maybe it was too that close. That, that meter is uh, defective, It's off. I think. Of course, my ear is up here, not down <laughs> there. You're not gonna vacuum like this, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Okay, and then also we want to talk about the runtime. Uh, when you purchase this vacuum, it's not going to come right out of the box ready to go. Uh, the instructions do say that you do have to charge it for 24 hours, at least 24 hours. Uh, and I don't want to get too detailed into that, but this is a NICAD battery. It's not your lithium ion. Uh, if you don't know what that is, feel free to Google it because we can go on for hours about that. We don't that. know what it is either. We don't know. Nikon, <laughs> NICAD, lithium ion. Yeah, the Nikon. Exactly. Nikon, no, no, Nikon, <laughs> Nikad. But uh, yeah, so I'm no expert, but feel free to Google that. Again, this is a Nikad battery. Um, so you have to charge this for 24 hours before you use it for the first time. Look up why it's really important, so don't forget that. But the thing is though, this vacuum lasted for a continuous run, okay, 20 minutes. I don't know if you guys know, but that's amazing, in my opinion. That we we, we tested some other handheld uh, vacuums, uh, 10, 15 minutes. We were pretty astonished. So, so far, so good. This is a pretty good vacuum. So let's get into our performance tests and see how well that does. It's pretty good. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. It worked out really well, actually. Uh, nothing bad to say whatsoever. Uh, now we're going to... Yeah, all you, all yeah. you um, people with um, nasty little brats who yeah. dump food all over, this is a vacuum for you. <laughs> this thing works out well. That's good. Uh, it's a neat little vacuum. Again, with the 20-minute charge, too, uh, I don't think you'll have any, any problems uh, getting up all that junk. That was cool. So, it's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, so just uh, move the table and okay. move the carpet. So now we're going to move on to carpet, which we don't have anything on the carpet. Which one should we do? What's that? Oh, just, um, well, just, yeah, put some dog hair on there. Okay. There you go. This is exciting. This is exciting YouTube action here. Woo! Look at that. Wow, that's dog hair. That good. is golden retriever hair. Recently brushed this morning. My dog was so happy when I brushed her. She did not want me to stop. <laughs> Throw some rice on there. There we go. Okay. And again, for all you pet lovers, we got some animal litter. All right. Okay. Here we go. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a lot of hair. There we go. Well, now. I think you might want to empty it. Yes. Yeah, I think it's. it's Here we um, go. 
So here's one thing you want to look at. So this has a really small canister or a dirt cup, I should say. So when this gets full, you're going to lose suction with your vacuum. Again, your vacuum runs off of oxygen. Is that in the shot? Yeah, more or less. There we go. Okay, so uh, here's how you empty your vacuum. Woohoo! There we go. Not so hard. I'm going to make sure you clean out your filter too. Uh, put that back on. And again. This is again for quick spills and so forth, so you are going to have to, you know, empty that so every so often. But it's going to need the brush for that. It's going to need the brush. That's our handy brush. See how well this does. Wow. Um, uh, not so good. Yeah. So. Okay, well. Mm, no. Okay. So, there you have it. Uh, we found the limitations of the yes. dust cluster. Did really good on the hard surface. Hard surface, really, really good. Excellent job. Carpet, not so much. Even with the rice and the other stuff. Uh, and again, it's, it's probably going to be due to the design. Uh, it's the moment you put this on a hard surface, it's going to suck up whatever. But once it gets to the carpet, uh, it's, it's not going to be able to pick up anything else around it. So yeah, you need something with a beater bar. A beater bar, bar, right? Exactly. Around. Absolutely. Uh, this brush, I don't. They probably just threw this in just as a little extra feature, but it doesn't do you any good whatsoever. Uh, the the motor uh, fan is back here, so whenever you are using this, make sure that whatever your vacuum is in front of it and not behind, because it's going to push it all over the place, as you could tell. Uh, and again, it's pretty small, so you're going to have to empty this uh, off every so often. Uh, what are your thoughts, cameraman? Oh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's for countertops, tabletops, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, a few Cheerios fall on the floor. Right. Um, no, it's, a, it's definitely not for carpet. Of course, you're not going to be, unless you're some kind of uh, sicko, you're not going to try to vacuum your, your whole house with this. So. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I think it's a, a pretty cool tool, tool yes. to have around. Really cool. Uh, we're pretty happy with this. Again, for around twenty-one dollars. Whoops, you sorry. You just stepped out. Oh, the shot I'm sorry. Man. Look at that. All right. <laughs> there we go. So, all right. So let's. See. You want to just go right into the? Uh, we're trying to keep this sh under we're gonna keep half the, an hour. Exactly. So, um, Our videos you are twenty just minutes do, long. Go right into the punishment test. Yeah, let's you do that. Give me a little heads up because Sorry, you okay. Have to move the camera, All right, so. here we go. Okay. So now for our punishment test, let's see how durable this is. This it's going to be realistic for you to drop this vacuum. Maybe you're about to put it back on the charging base and you accidentally let go of it too soon, hit your countertop or hit your floor. So um, let's see here. Right. Are we ready? ready? Okay. That was solid. Right, drop, drop it right on the nozzle. Okay, here we go. It turned off. All right, one more time. We're gonna drop it on the base, the handle. Here we go. Thing is solid. Ooh. Okay. So uh, I guess we'll just go into our conclusion and give you our final thoughts on this vacuum. I'm pretty happy with it. I, I, I give it two thumbs up. I'm pretty sure Princess Supply does as well. Cameraman, what do you think? Yeah, I mean it's for the um, for the kitchen, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe the workshop, I don't know. It's just um, yeah, it's for small, dry, you know, things like Cheerios. I mean, that's, that's yes. what it shows on the box, and um, it worked, like, awesome on that tabletop, so. Absolutely. Uh, again, this is a handheld cordless vacuum, so you can use it pretty much anywhere you want to, as long as it's charged, uh, outdoor, your car, things like that. Again, with how 
we saw it working on the carpet. I'm not sure how it's going to do in a car setting. Again, I think you're going to have the same issues. Uh, yeah, it's no good on pet hair. No good on pet hair. Uh, rocks, loose debris, things like that. Sure, I, I think it'll do really well. Right. Uh, but I would say this is more or less for home household use. Countertops, kitchen floors, things like that. Really quick spills. But for $21, I think this is a great buy. Definitely give it two thumbs up. Has a 20 minute battery life, which is excellent. Uh, good suction, nice lightweight, very durable. So yeah, if you do drop it, well, well you know, <laughs> there goes a the nice little bang there. Really, nothing popped off. Uh, it still looks brand new. So I think this is a really, really good buy. Yeah. So uh, click on the link below and it'll That's take right. you to Amazon. And we're also going to put a link for the movie um, Pineapple Express down there too. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's, it's a good reference. The moment you watch that movie and you, right. you see this, that's right. It's going to bring back some memories. Uh, so if you want to find out more information about this vacuum, feel free to click on the link below. You'll be taken to our Amazon product page. Yeah, I just said that. I know. Well, you know. Maybe they couldn't hear you. <laughs> so uh, we also would like to mention a few other things as well. Now, again, this is the Dust oh, you Buster. Have to say subscribe and comment. I will. Thank you. Yes, I'll, I'll, well, I guess we'll get to that now. Okay. So if you did like this video and you'd like to see more videos like this, Please make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, please like and share this video. And if you have any comments in regards to this, or if you want to see any other vacuums that uh, you'd like us to review in the future, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Here we go. And surprise. Now, for a lot of you younger kids, of course, I'm not sure how many younger kids would be watching a vacuum review video, but this may bring back some memories. This is the original design for the Black and Decker Dust Buster. I remember when I was a child. Uh, okay, we, all right, we don't care uh, okay. about when you were a child. <laughs> we're going to get to that in the next video. Yes, we are. Yes. So we're going to do a comparison video with this vacuum here and this vacuum right here. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yes. Yeah, and subscribe, and then you'll get a notice. All you'll get a notification, videos. exactly. So yeah, we're going old school next that's time. That's right. Look at this little bad boy. So, thank you very much for watching.